this is the first video of 2021 and today we are discussing about top features of Android 11 that you can use in 2021. So I am using the Color OS 11 on Android 11. So without any further ado, let's get started. So currently I am using the Oppo F11 Pro which is running on Color OS 11 which is based on Android 11 Beta 2.0. So this time Android 11 has been made keeping in mind that all the users of Android love to customize their phone in their own way. So they have given a personalization tab inside the settings for you all to personalize your phone in your own way which makes it a very user friendly software. When I started using Android 11, it gave me a vibe of very smooth and professional software and trust me, I was not willing to leave my phone for even a second after updating it to Android 11. And literally it gave me that excitement that I was looking for when Android 10 came but that was missing at the time of Android 10. So let's start with the most loved feature of Android 11, the personalization tab. Inside the personalization menu, you can change your wallpaper. You can change the style of your icons, you can change the app layout, you can change the color of your setting bars, you can also change the text font and you can also customize the notification bar. This time Android 11 enables its user to use AI to build their own wallpapers. Yes, you can build your own wallpapers using AI. You just have to select a photo from your gallery, Android 11 will analyze it and it will suggest you with wallpapers having theme, color or pattern similar to what you have in your photo. And this feature is my personal favorite. This time Android 11 has also added a parental control feature which is known as kid space. In that a parent can control the usage of their child on the phone. They can put restrictions on some apps that they don't want the child to use. They can even set the duration of usage. They can also uh, prevent unwanted charges. Uh, sometimes a, chi a child uses a card or something to uh, do payments uh, without asking their parents so you, a parent can control that. Uh, they can also prevent system modifications and they can also prevent addiction. So they can limit available apps or they can limit the screen time. So this is a very great feature. Uh, if you are a parent then you can use this feature to control a child's uh, screen time. So this time uh, Android 11 has uh, added a conveniency feature which is known as the nearby share. Using that a person can share a file or photo from their own phone to their friend's phone using Bluetooth. So this feature is really great uh, if you are a photographer in your family then you may be clicking a lot of pics so you can share them directly uh, using Bluetooth and you don't have to take the load of uh, transferring them to your PC and then sending them. There's a lot of work done on the aesthetics of this OS and that is clearly visible. There's a lot of new animations uh, added uh, while you scroll up or scroll down. Uh, when you scroll down the notification bar, there is a minor and smooth transition which looks very great. Uh, when you uh, turn your phone horizontal or vertical, there is a great round smooth transition which looks really cool. So I feel that this Android 11 is best in aesthetics if we compare it with iOS 14. Since I am a tech geek, I have customized my Android home screen using some external apps but if you are a normal user, you are not that much of a geeky type person then I feel that uh, the personalization features that Android 11 offers is really sufficient for you. There is a minor change in the uh, charging animation of ColorOS 11. Uh, the design is same. Uh, earlier it used to be uh, this same design in a liquid form but now it is in particular form. This time the notification bar in Android 11 has been given a minimalistic and systematic feel. As you can see uh, the notification from each different app has been so perfectly organized that I don't have any difficulty in recognizing the notification uh, and it also feels a little uh, bit smaller as compared to uh, the color OS 7 in which uh, the notification was slightly bigger and it used to hide a major part of the notification so I had to go to the app and see what message I have got. 
बट दिस टाइम आई कैन रीड द एंटायर मैसेज एट द नोटिफिकेशन सेंटर एंड आई डोंट हैव टू गो टू द ऐप विच मेक्स द एंड्रॉड इलेवन अ बिट मोर यूजर फ्रेंडली दिस टाइम एंड्रॉड इलेवन हैज बीन लोडेड विद अ लॉट ऑफ कन्वीनियंसी फीचर्स सच एज बेड टाइम मोड राइडिंग मोड एंड द सुपर पावर सेविंग मोड द राइडिंग मोड एज अ नेम सजेस्ट इज अ मोड दैट ऑटोमेटिकली स्विच इज योर फोन टू साइलेंट मोड वाइल यू आर ड्राइविंग अ कार और अ बाईसाइकिल सो दैट द नोटिफिकेशन साउंड डो नॉट डिस्ट्रैक्ट यू एंड योर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन रिमेन्स ऑन द रोड There is also a new mode which is known as the one-handed mode which let you use your phone with one hand and it further simplifies your Android 11 usage. The bedtime mode is a mode that switches on the do not disturb mode and the grayscale mode which means that it uh, silences your phone and it also changes the screen to black and white at bedtime so that you don't get distracted and get your required 8 hours of sleep. This time uh, when you go into your display and brightness there is a new feature of auto switch which automatically switches the phone to light mode when uh, there is sunrise and automatically switches it to dark mode when there is sunset When you go into your dark mode settings you can change uh, the dark mode according to your will uh, there are three modes uh, for dark mode enhanced medium and gentle In gentle uh, you will get a grey gradient uh, in medium a blackish greyish shade gradient and in enhanced the screen would be completely dark and black inside the dark mode you can also adjust your wallpaper according to the dark theme you can also adjust the icons and you can also reduce the contrast in low light conditions So the gamer mode on Android 11 has been enhanced. You will find new animations. You can disrupt all the uh, notifications of social media apps while you are playing games. You can also mute the calls. You can even limit the uh, gestures so that while you are playing game, you are enjoying your experience and you are not disturbed in any form. So the gamer mode comes with three modes: uh, low power mode, balance mode, and competition mode. uh the competition mode as the name suggests is the high performance mode where your gpu and cpu is both working simultaneously to give you a better gaming experience the balance mode is when you are not playing any heavy game and the low power mode is the mode where uh, when you have a low battery but you still want to play a game then you can select low power mode in the camera on the android 11 there has been uh, a new gesture that has been added uh, that is when you scroll uh, down on your screen you will find a menu in which you can change some settings these settings were earlier in the settings menu of the camera app but now they have been added here for your convenience so there has been new and cool looking gestures added on the android 11 such as the three finger screenshot gesture and when you scroll uh, down on the home screen the search page opens from where you can search any app and open that which makes it more convenient for you in searching apps the utility menu on the home screen has been also given a new look and uh, under the transition menu there has been two new transition that have been added uh, which are the card and the roll transitions and even the widgets panel has been also given a new look and the wallpaper panel has been given a new and a completely different look the android 11 has been designed in such a way that it gives a really cool and friendly user experience this time the user has been kept into utmost priority when developing android 11 by the android 11 developers and this time i can truly say that this os was truly built for all the users So guys this was my take on the top Android 11 features that you can use in 2021 I hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video then do hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more such videos with that being said I would see you in my next video bye bye adios